I'm here with Freelance Wales at the Outside Lands Music and Arts Festival in San Francisco. How's it going? How are you guys? Good, really good. Alright, well the first thing I wanted to do is while you were, before you were playing, I um, went around and got some fan questions and comments that you can have after. Right on, cool. But I guess I'll start out with those and then I'll... I'm sure they're nothing but scathing. Oh, they're beautiful. They're really, really nice. Can't wait. Alright, so the first one is from Joey, and Joey wants to know, how did you get your band name? Um, we got the bad name. Uh, I guess there's like two answers, right? Yeah, there's you, like, want, you do one, I'll do the one that, that you don't do. Well, there's, you know, there's a really long one that um, Judah, as a, as a child, Jerusalem, uh, uh, had a near drowning experience. Yeah, kind of long story short, when he was kind of revived back to life, uh, there was this fisherman that, that called him in Hebrew a, a, a freedom whale. And then I guess the, the freelance kind of comes more from us being from New York and like wanting to embody kind of an autonomous kind of spirit, um, kind of like self-reliant kind of spirit. And it's you know it's not a literal thing. It's more of a uh, just a sound thing. You know the way it sounds coming off your tongue like freelance way. It's just like the way it kind of just flowed off. The that's right. He answered the, he answered uh, both ways in one. I, yeah, I just went. He just stole them both. The okay. So, the second question comes from Michael, and he wants to know, what are the craziest things you guys have ever done on stage? Um, Kevin did something pretty funny. We had, we had this, like, nightmare of uh, trying to get our, our t-shirts shipped to the venue on, on, on this current tour. And then we kept getting the wrong... Like clothes sent to us. So Who did like you get? They're like, good, like good news, guys. We got some shirts. We opened it up, and the first time it was like some like some white like beaters, you know, with like gold foil. And then like not our stuff. And then the second night, then like oh, like the first time I was like, oh, we're so sorry, you know. We sent another box, and we got like booty shorts. Like some, some really some lovely booty shorts. They really they really complement you know the right all the right areas. Um, so we decided to, um, Kevin actually decided to wear them on stage for that show. So he was, uh, he wore them, he wore them proudly, he wore them well. I don't think anyone else could top that kind of fashion statement. That was it. Alright, Rudy wants to know, how did you meet? Uh, we met through, uh, through Craigslist actually. We were all kind of searching for, searching for different projects. Uh, we were all working as musicians in New York at the time, and, and other things. Um, and I think it was just kind of a matter of a chance that we all found each other over a course of months and started practicing, and you know, there were some people in the band that aren't in the band anymore, and, and then we, uh, Chuck was the last edition, kind of in November of 2008, and that was like the icing on the cake, and, and then we kind of settled with that for a while, and, and here we are. So this, this isn't a question, this is a comment. But she says, My internet friend from the University of Delaware told me to see you guys today. This is lame yet cool, no. Her name is Pet Perrin. I think she met one of you at a party once or something. I hope you enjoy this pointless story. Break a leg. That's from Laura. Thanks, Thank, Laura. Thank you, Laura. She probably met Judah, because Judah, um, yeah, the singer, he's from Delaware. Delaware. Me so. too. Right Pop Culture Madness, based in Delaware. <laughs> um, Art wants to know, where are you guys from? Um, well, the band's from Queens. That's kind of where we all got together and started rehearsing and became Freelance Wales, you know, today. But I mean, we're all, aside, aside from Doris, who's like our only native Queensian, <laughs> native New Yorker, the rest of us are kind of a little, you know, a little bit outside, so more than others. Judah is from Delaware. I'm from San Francisco. Jersey. Jersey. Jersey boy. Where yeah, in Jersey? From, uh, from East Brunswick. It's about 10 minutes from Rutgers. I have friends. My friend Jess lives in East Brunswick. What's her name? Jess. Jess what? Santos. Jess Santos. How old is she now? 19. Oh, okay. okay, Santos. No chance of that. No chance. Alright, well, Brian wants to know what, and then he crossed it out, and then he says, who are your influences? What are who? What I mean, or who? What ice cream is yeah. my biggest influence? Yeah. If it's a what? We're gonna look at the ice cream. <laughs> but if it's a who? I think our biggest influences are. Yeah, I mean our, our tastes are pretty eclectic. Yeah. We definitely draw from a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess the influences that are kind of like apparent on the record are like stars or a broken social scene. 
bands we look up to. Um, but most, the actual record itself was kind of influenced by uh, the actual instruments themselves. So it was kind of a new songwriting like approach for all of us. That's kind of like having these new sounds we weren't used to thinking kind of helped yeah, create the record. So in that way, like, the influences are definitely much more of a what than a who. Yeah. So he didn't have to cross it out. Oh, well, I have his email. Yeah, well, the yeah, bottom. he was right to begin with. He yeah. was right. We'll let him know. Yeah, tell him not to second guess himself. He's, he's, he's <laughs> got good instincts. All right. Someone drew, wrote the animal war. All right. And then a picture of Oklahoma. And then they drew Iowa, but I don't know why that happened. Wait, wait so wait. what happened? They, they drew... They drew a picture of uh, Oklahoma. Okay. Or they were trying. And you can tell that's Oklahoma. Well, they they said this is Oklahoma. Oh, when they okay. <laughs> no, I, and then that's supposed to be Iowa. But okay. they, I guess they just want you to know that. Crystal wants to know, and then it says lead singer. Why are you such a cutie? Can you guys answer that for? It's just in his nature. That's just genetics, you know. I see. Can't change. Can't change who you the are. Jones are just a good-looking family. He's a goddamn cutie. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. Born and bred, cutie, patootie. <laughs> Jesse Torres is going into the Marines, and his friends don't want him to, and so he asked, why should I not go into the Marines? Mark, you want a beverage? Um, you know, like, if he wants to, you know, do, do his thing for his country, that's his own thing, you know. Uh, it's just a big, it's a big commitment. So is your vote pro-Marines? Um, you know. If he thinks it's the right thing for himself, then we support him wholeheartedly, and we thank him for his sacrifice and effort. Go for it, you know, if he wants to do it. How diplomatic was that? That was very... Really diplomatic, right? I think I should go into a different line of work. Why are you not a senator <laughs> we representative? Yeah, why aren't, why aren't we, we international diplomats? <laughs> That's so many reasons. You get diplomatic immunity. You get to can't have do a beard. You, uh, you can't, yeah. Well, you, can. you can't have a beard. You have a great yeah. beard, by the yeah, way. If you go to a country where Thank everyone you. has a beard, then you have to have That's a beard. You go to Russia, so I can be a diplomat. diplomatic. The last one is a comment from Leaf, and he said, "This is the first time I've heard you guys, and it's awesome. Keep doing, uh, uh, keep being awesome." We'll try. So that's that should be the easy part. Try, yeah. This is for you. Oh, thank and you. And it has email addresses on it too, if awesome. you wanna, if you wanna hit up. We should email these. Yeah, we should. Well, I will write them out personally. Wow. All right, so, awesome. so you were just kind of scouring the crowd and like being like... You know, I saw girls uh, when the gates opened at 11. It was like 11.17 and they were running towards sprinted. your stage. I saw that. Do you saw, I was impressed. Yeah. And then I, I saw like seven people running. Space.